it's me here to keep you guys here today i'm going to be doing a video on some of the features that come in android on um, 7.0 and beta um i am using my new 8.9 inch 32 gigabyte nexus 9 wi-fi tablet that i just got now um some of the features that come in um google are fairly new now to get um uh, Android 7.0 beta or Android 7.0 um, nougat beta um, what you want to do is go to the Android and beta website and enroll your device um, uh, now some of the devices are uh, that are legible are listed right here um, which are the Nexus 6 Nexus 9 Nexus 5x ne Nexus Nexus 6p Nexus player pixel C um, and general mobile 4G Android One devices, which include the um, Samsung Galaxy S7, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and the Samsung Galaxy S, the Samsung Galaxy S7 um, Active, and the Samsung Galaxy um, Note 5. That's some of the um, uh, Samsung devices that are enabled for. Um, Andres uh, 7.0 and beta. Now, um, there the final release for Android 7.0 hasn't been um uh, issued out yet. It's not uh, um hasn't been released yet. The official release date. Now, some of the um uh, apps that or some of the features that are in Android and is um multi window. It by if you hold the um the recent uh, button, you can. I don't see if this. I want to see. If, I want to see if this works. Yeah. So um, one of the features uh that are in Google or this Android seven point zero beta is if you double tap the recent button, you can switch between apps. Or a quick switch between apps, and if you hold it down, only it doesn't work right now. Hold on, you have to be in the app. But if you hold it down, you could you could um, uh, actually uh, do multi window. But um, some of the apps are incompatible, uh, or because of the source code or the coding within Android 7.0. Now you could actually um slide up to actually activate the app that you want to use and um yeah uh android 7.0 beta is we're using the google now launcher if we go into the settings if i can find it here it is um you have some quick toggles here um that yeah we there's nothing really i can say about that one but we just Bring it up to make it a little bit smaller. Um, nothing's really new into the settings. Um, if you go to about, um, the, the build number has changed. Um, you can't really do any system updates until Google has let out another um, preview of Android 7.0 beta. Um, there isn't really a um, there isn't really a Easter egg other than the Android um, 7.0 N logo. Now I don't really find myself using the um, the multi window unless I get a message from Google Hangouts um, from one of my friends, and I'm playing a game. And one of the uh, features from Android um, 7.0 and beta is if you get a message from Google Hangouts or your regular test text message um app what you could do is slide down from the uh the uh, what's it called the notification bar and you could um you'll see a little gray bar where you could um reply to that text message in the notification settings or the notification bar um basically all the android 7.0 apps do come with the um, Android 7.0 and beta, which includes the clock app. Now everything opens up smoothly. Smoothly. 
it can open up so smoothly, but the only only downside is that um, the uh, Android seven point zero and beta does not have a gallery app. I'm assuming that it, uh, it's because that you are running Android seven point zero and beta. Um, hopefully, when the full release of Android seven point zero and beta does come out, you do get a gallery app. And if not, then um, Google, if you're watching this, please implement a gallery app. Now, um, some apps do not open uh, on Android 7.0 and beta because um, of the coding. One of the apps that do not open are, are um, and Madden NFL um, Mobile. Um, when you open up the app, it uh, force closes. Um, another one of the apps that do not open properly is BBC America. Um, uh, be, again, because of the source coding, but every app I have on my tablet opens up properly. Um, so, for instance, uh, MX Movie Player, it opens just fine. And uh, again, Android 7.0 and beta is one of the best operating systems I've ever, ever used. Now, um, when you're updating to Android 7.0 and beta and you do enroll your device, um, you will get the update um, immediately. Um, the update is from 700 uh, megabytes up to uh, uh, 900 megabytes to um, one uh, one gigabyte and sometimes up to two gigabytes large depending on what um, device you have and um, how big of the coding that you have on your device now once the download is done um, the update will then install and reboot into the um, recovery options where the uh, update will then install now um once the uh, update is installed you everything will factory reset your device will factory reset itself so that it can ha your device will have a clean um uh clean update install of android 7.0 and beta so that way there are no pr problems happening with your device once um the boot up is fully initiated and stuff like that um so yeah um, you can um, do uh, get the Android 7.0 and beta um, if you have a unlocked bootloader or if you have a locked boot bootloader, it doesn't matter. Uh, Android 7.0 um, beta is really nice. It's really great to use. Um, again, you have that um, uh, multi-window feature. Uh, yeah, again, you have that uh, multi multi window feature along with this quick switch toggle, and there are many more features that are coming out for Android seven point zero and beta. That being said, that'll be it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.